Welcome to this Wise Owl Answers video. This question came in on a video about logging into websites, and what Michael wanted to know was, is it possible to open Google Chrome with a specific user profile? And it certainly is possible to do that. It's not actually all that difficult. It's just not immediately obvious how to do it. So let's take a look and see how it works. To get started, I've created a new Excel workbook and in the Visual Basic Editor, created a new module and written the basic code required to start a new instance of Google Chrome. I'm relying on the Selenium type library here, so I've headed to the tools menu and chosen references, and I've set a reference to the Selenium type library already. I'm going to assume that you already know how to set that up, and if you're not sure, then we do have a playlist which explains exactly how to do all that, so this is your reference point if you need some help getting that set up. If I just head back to the Visual Basic Editor and I run this subroutine, I'll find that I open up a new instance of Chrome, as expected, but the profile that I'm logged in as is just this anonymous profile here. It's not the same one as the other instance of Chrome I already have open, which is logged in with the WiseAl Tutorials profile. So what I'd really like to do is set the user profile to the WiseAl Tutorials one when I start this new instance of Chrome. To do this, I can use the setProfile method of the Chrome driver variable. I need to do this before I start the driver, so let's give myself a couple of blank lines before cd.start, and then say cd.setProfile. What I then need to do is pass in the path to the folder which contains all of the user profile folders. I've already got that folder open in a Windows Explorer window, so it's called user data, and it's part of the local app data folder, so it's part of your user profile. Rather than write out the full path to this folder, I'm going to use a Windows environment variable to get the path up to the local folder and then add on Google Chrome user data to the end. So I'm going to use the environ function and then in some round brackets and some double quotes, say local app data. I can spell that eventually, there we go. And then I can concatenate to the end of that backslash Google backslash Chrome backslash user data. Now, before I run this subroutine again, I need to make sure that I close down any open instance of Google Chrome, which is currently using the user data folder. So the open instance of Chrome I had at the start that I showed you the various videos in, I need to close that one down. Having done that, I can head back to the Visual Basic Editor and then run the subroutine again. And this time you'll see when we run the subroutine and the instance of Chrome opens up, I'm logged in as WiseAl Tutorials. Now, despite the name of the method we've just used here, we're not actually setting the profile that we're using, we're just setting the location of the user data directory. If we had multiple user profiles, we haven't actually picked one here. What Chrome is doing is just using the last logged in user profile. So if I wanted to pick a different user profile, if I head back to my user data folder, I've got my default profile, which is WiseAl Tutorials. I've also got a couple of other profiles inventively called Profile 1 and Profile 2. So let's say I wanted to load Google Chrome logged in with profile two. In order to make that work, I've got to add another line of code again before I start the browser or start the driver, I need to say cd dot add argument. And then in here, in a set of double quotes, I'm gonna say profile dash directory equals, and then write out the name of the profile two folder. So profile two, just like that. Okay, having done that, if I run the subroutine again, this time I'll see that I'm logged in with a different user profile um, rather than the WiseAl Tutorials one. Just to demonstrate that Chrome will remember the last used profile, if I head back to the Visual Basic Editor and I just comment out the line I've added to add the argument to specify the profile directory, if I run the subroutine again, it's going to use the same profile that's just been used in the previous example. So if I wanted to go back to the WiseAl Tutorials profile, I need to specify that with the same line of code. So the WiseAl Tutorials profile is stored in the default folder. So I'm going to head back to the Visual Basic Editor. I'm going to bring back this line, but then I'm going to change profile two to say default. And if I run the subroutine again, we'll find that this time it loads in, loads up, logged in as WiseAl Tutorials. So there we go. There's the basics of opening Google Chrome with a specific user profile. Hopefully that helps Michael with his authentication issues, and hopefully it's useful for a few other people as well. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.